Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm going to show you the new NVIDIA or AMD GPU miner from Claymore. It's the V8.0. It's available for Windows and Linux and it has a slight increasement of Ethereum mining speed. So that's really useful. It's 3 to 5 percent because it's a completely different miner code and it should be doing very great. Also a lot of people have been talking about the no fee option because the developers ask 1 percent for for uh, mining with their miner and 2% if you go for dual mining. So you can adjust it and put on no fee if you want to, but I can show that in another video if you want to. But also they introduced dual mining with Ethereum and Pascal. So you can mine Pascal while mining Ethereum at the same time, but only as I just said, it's gonna be 2% dev developer fee. So I think this miner is gonna be very great and we have all been waiting for this because we've been mining a long time with the Claymore V7.4. So finally it's here and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So just as usual, I made two ready to go miners, one for Windows and one for Linux, and you can download it from the Google Drive and the links will be in the description below. But if you want to have the original files, you can just go to Claymore's post, I will also put it in the description below and you'll be able to download it from there on. Okay, so now that you downloaded the miner, you need to extract it and open it up. So for example, I'm gonna show you the Windows one and you'll see two files extra inside it. So the bottom one is the four gigabyte cards or eight gigabyte or whatever is coming behind it. And there's a file for two gigabyte cards. So if you have a two gigabyte card, you need to use the top one. And if you have a normal card, just use the start minor four gigabyte cards. What do you do now is right click it and go to edit. Inside here, you need to change a few things. So first of all, it says EU1. If you're from America, you just have to use uh, US1. And if you come from China, CN1. It's also in the readme file inside the miner. Next up, you need to change my address to your address because otherwise you're uh, mining for me. And then the final thing you need to change is the miner name. So it's called your miner, but you could call it anything you want, uh, just like Fluffy Unicorn. After that, just save the file and close it up. Then just double click it and it will start running. So the first time it will run, it will ask for permission to connect to your internet and it will be a some sort of warning because this works with some sort of port. So it's the 444 port and it will ask you to give permission. But from then on, it will be mining 24 seven unless you turn it off and that's how this all works. So the improvement of the hash rate is very slightly and it should be hashing more quickly than it used to, but I don't really see too much difference at all. But for the next video, we're gonna try and do dual mining with Pascal coin, but I hope you all enjoy the video and see you guys in the next one.